Love is an integral part of your success. Just a little handshake. Just a little gentle smile on your face. Just a little communication skill. Just a little caring. Will fortify your success in the future. Without that, without you carrying the love and then giving the love to the chiropractic, it's hollow. Then it's left up to you and your cunning and your guile how to persuade somebody to give you $3,000 for a case or how to give you $500 for a set of x-rays. It behooves you to go out and learn and study and learn how to work with the big boys of how to sell chiro chiropractic, how to sell case bases. All of that has its place. I'm talking about a person that lights up a room, radiates when he comes into a political rally or comes into a church or a synagogue or ministry somewhere, and his presence, his or her presence, radiates, causes a stir, and causes people to look and to question, who is that? And it calls them after having an encounter. that I like them. There's something about those kind of people that I like. If they like you, and you've got the words of wisdom that carry that like and that love with you, I know you haven't studied this in school. You're very well educated or you wouldn't be here. You're very well qualified or you wouldn't be here. I don't know whether you've ever loved anything or not. I don't mean in a sexual sense either. Those of you who had babies, especially the women, you know a level of love that we don't understand. Is that right? The ladies, women that bear these children, God gives them a special harmonic effect that comes out as love. And us hard-tailed men say, I don't understand. I had a special encounter with Coach Dodd one time, my football coach. We was at the, after I graduated, like I was officiating the game, at the practice. Coach Dodd said, you know, I just love athletics. I just love football. And I don't understand anybody that don't love football, don't love the scrimmage, and don't love all the athletes. He said, but you know, I said, well, how's, how's Ms. Dodd, Coach? He said, she's not here. I said, you mean she's not here at this great love event in this spring, the termination of the spring football game? He said, See, she's out with the grandchildren. He says, she loves the grandchildren more than anything, even more than me. She loves her grandchildren. He says, you know, said. They are different than us. I didn't understand it then as much as I do now. You women, you're different in a lot of ways. I understand that. But you have different values. You have different possibilities, different prospects, different probabilities, greater depth in some ways. Now, we, we don't understand it. I don't understand it. You, Bob? You think you understand? I'll tell you. Coach Dodd said they're different than 